Hi, now uh, we are entering the fourth questions in Law of Conservation of Energy. The only thing about these questions uh, is it involves the energy loss due to friction. Okay, uh, let us read the question together. Refer to the figure above, object B is released from rest. Okay. Release the block B. When it falls 0 0.5 meter, its speed is 2 meter per second. And that means uh, it falls losing the gravitational potential energy uh, but gaining the kinetic energy. Okay. Uh, uh, determine the block, sorry, determine the work done by the friction force which acts on A. Yeah, apparently block A is placed on a rough plane. So uh, it has energy loss due to friction. Okay. Uh, so, we apply the law of cons conservation of energy. Uh, the initial total energy equal to the... Uh, this is actually the final... Sorry. So, this is the final total energy. So, some part of the energy has converted to the uh, heat or the energy loss. Okay. Some part of the initial energy has converted to the heat energy, uh, which is the work done due to friction. Okay? And it becomes the energy loss yeah, from the system. Now, uh, okay, let's identify uh, the initial condition, yeah, the energy that exists in the initial condition and also the energy exists in the final condition. So, what energy exists in the initial conditions? Okay, so this is the initial and this is the final. Okay, so initially, uh, yeah, at the, uh, it has certain height, uh, so it has, we know that it has the potential energy, uh, the, the block B, it has certain gravitational potential energy, so it has uh, potential energy, uh, this is for block B, and uh, after it falls, okay, some of the energy has lost, okay, uh, energy lost as heat, this energy is lost, and uh, the block A has gained some kinetic energy, so uh, it has the kinetic energy of block, block A, and also the block B also gains some kinetic energy, uh, final kinetic energy for block B, block B. Um and that's it. Okay, we assume we assume um uh, the block B now uh at this level after zero point five meter, uh, it has no potential energy. We assume this level is zero gravitational potential energy. Okay, uh above zero point five meter, it has potential energy mg delta h. Delta h is the difference in the height, zero point five meter. So initially, initially block B has this uh, mg delta h initial potential energy. Okay, so you see initial condition the block B has the gravitational potential energy mg delta h. After the block B falls, uh, the block A gains kinetic energy, block B gains kinetic energy, and there are some energy loss uh, as heat. Okay. Uh, so that's it. Let's try out the questions. Huh? So initially it has no kinetic energy, but it has the potential energy, uh, potential energy, initial potential energy for block B. And uh, this is B. And then uh, finally it has zero potential energy, but it has a kinetic energy, the final kinetic energy for block A. And also the final kinetic energy for block B. And also, uh, some part of the initial energy has turned to the uh, work done against friction. Uh, work done against friction. So this is the energy loss. Yeah? Or we can say the energy as heat energy. Loss as heat. Okay, so then apply the formula. Apply the formula. So uh, this is mg 
uh, delta H initially has gravitational potential energy. This is mass of B. And then uh, finally, uh, we have mass, uh, kinetic energy for A, mass of A, B square plus half mv square, but this is mass B. And this is the energy of heat, which we want to find. Okay? Uh, both blocks have the same velocity because, you know, they fall together, tied to a string. So both blocks have the same velocity, vv, same velocity. Uh, so they have the same velocity, only mass different. Okay? So let us uh, substitute the information. We have a one kilogram, one kilogram and two kilogram. So block B is two kilogram. So let's substitute two kilogram, nine point eight one. The delta H is zero point five meter, zero point five meter. Uh, yeah, uh, zero point five. You see, zero point five meter, and uh. Let's continue. So half and the mass of A is uh, 1 kilogram. Uh, velocity is uh, 2 meter per second. Yeah, over here. Meter per second. Okay. Uh, plus half mass of B is 2 kilogram. Velocity is 2 meter per second. Plus heat of the uh, sorry, energy of the heat. Okay? Yes. So we got the energy of heat, the energy loss, uh, 3.81 joule. Ah, right? Uh, so work done against friction. So we can say work done against friction is equal to the um, negative 3.81 joule uh, we should put a negative sign uh, because energy loss okay uh, because energy loss so we need to put a negative sign for for this work done against friction so that's it okay for these questions uh hope you enjoy the videos so uh stay tuned for the upcoming videos bye